time. I'm full of shit. It's not even funny. You want to fucking check? Do you, think do you want to walk through the fucking house and look, you stupid do cunt? I Get the fuck off do my property. Fuck you. Do I have fuck any you. Yeah! Your whole family has a record! You're full of shit! Oh, I'm not full of shit! Uh, like, so why the whole can't bad guy being explained to you things? Why can't no, you No, 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 because yourself? here's the why irony. Here's the irony. He's not racist. That's the irony. That's okay, why you on. can't explain you it. You tell me That's right. why you can't explain yeah, it. No, 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 here's the thing. You don't know the word irony. You're the one making the yeah, thing. The burden of proof is on you guys. Me? So, I don't know Donald Trump. I love you. I love you, Donald Trump. That's a fair point. Hey, this man actually makes a fair point. I'll accept that point. Okay. That's the first but, but can you I tell That like really raises your credibility as a man speaking to me right now. Like I feel so humble talking to you because you're wearing a fucking Pepe sticker. Like I ah. What's what's wrong with Pepe? It stands for yeah, Are you guys offended by a cartoon frog? Do you, do you yeah, really tra yeah, I'm really trained. Yeah, I like, see. I can tell. Hi, how you doing? I'm well, capturing it all. Thank you. You really get hey, my look. SJW ass. Look, but look, job, but hold on a second. You still, you still haven't given one reason why you don't like Trump. You haven't said any policy. Dude, how old are you? Yeah, how what old are you? What difference does that make? How old are you? Like, why are you hassling two young girls? Like, what's your fucking problem? Hold on, hold on. You're out here protesting Donald Trump. You have a message. You want people to hear it. And then when I'm having a conversation with you, trying to understand your message, okay, you don't want to hear. You don't want to listen. Uh, he supports the KKK. Wrong. He sexually assaulted. Wrong. Women. Wrong. Shut the fuck yeah, up in my wait, 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 do you know how Name sexual one is lawsuit. treated in the court? Rapists get away so every you have fucking no day. Yeah, like All right, so you have no lawsuits. Can you name one instance where he's associated with the KKK? Well, the fact that the David, well, David Duke is so David Duke supports him in the first place. That's a really big fucking So deal, Donald buddy. Trump is supposed to be responsible for everyone in America all the time. And they all fell through. They all fell through. And they all fell through. They all fell through. Confirmation bias. That's what Oh my god. This is perfect. This, they are having the confirmation bias right now. I don't want your camera in my face. All right, well, don't you don't you have a message, though? Well, why are you protesting then? Why are you protesting? Actually, actually, I do have permission. Yeah, I don't need permission. You're on public property. You're on public property. But how come, how come you're protesting, but when there's media here to cover your protest, you don't want your message out? Why is that? What do you represent? I represent truth. I represent truth. Okay, why don't you read Nietzsche and then you'll see what truth actually is. August! <laughs> Donald Trump actually wanted to move the media <laughs> out of the White House. Did you Good. hear that? Good. Move right. the media out. Get you, CNN and MSNBC media. out of our lives. They're the liars that you're buying. Well, the White House isn't public property, so it's a little bit and different than being out in front of a train station. Listen, right? I know you have this need to explain everything. Trump is racist, I'm waiting for you to explain one thing. One thing. I just want one explanation of how Trump is bad. No lawsuits. No affiliation with the KKK. Just a bunch of hearsay. That's all you have. Anything else? No? Are you going to give me an excuse why you don't like Trump? But it's an actual real policy and not a fake, fake news. Yeah, I love the way he talks. I love his policies. I love the way he talks. So you're all about the fucking wall, right? Uh, actually, I don't like the wall. No, oh, actually, I'm not. Oh, oh, that's one of his main fucking oh, things. No, I'm a border security. I want a strong border. Talk about overturning same-sex marriage. I want a strong border. Huh? And that's what about not having true? the least education? Hey, 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 How about him wanting to defund Planned Parenthood? That's good. The government shouldn't fund Planned Parenthood. Tell me why. No, I have a question. Because that's about unconstitutional. About you can't take my money. Uh, yeah. That's taxation without representation. Uh, taxation without representation Absolutely. is unconstitutional. And, and if you're in some of the practices of Planned Parenthood, go against many religions in this country. To the very first and possibly last episode of Cooking with Milo. Let's get cooking. I don't really think that gobbles are really the safest thing to wear around your- What the fuck is this? What the fuck? So let me change into a more appropriate attire. And Shazam, we are ready to cook.
Wow, you see that? <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Everybody loves garlic. Probably good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Just put it all over. Okay. Pepper. Good. Yes. Love that. Good, good. Yes. Yes. This is a proper cooking show because I put my ingredients on white dishes until they're ready to go in the food. That's how you know a cooking show is legit if they wait, if they use white. About as fucking consistent as pigeon shit on Trafalgar Square. Dishes for their ingredients. You know you really have a good cooking show. Shit, is my tofu burning? No, it is not burning. We're still good. Do you appreciate the fact that I am cooking in my underwear? a gay trans YouTuber now because every single white male trans guy or cisgender guy on YouTube like has a video on their channel of them and their underwear and now I am officially part of transgender dude YouTube even though I'm not a dude I'm non-binary but I'm jealous of that visibility you know so like a black jacket you need a straight jacket I'm wearing my underwear I swear to God, it's the kind of shit you'd expect Tiger Woods to tee off with. Look at it. Rubber, rubber, rubber! Your tofu to look like. And if your tofu does not end up looking exactly this or better, then you're a failure. You might as well just quit now and eat a box of cereal. Eat the whole box of cereal because, you know, you're never gonna, you're never gonna be able to cook. Let's just be honest. <laughs> I'm just really stressed in life right now because you know it's finals week and I'm dealing with some stuff because Facebook decided to delete my account for whatever reason. Thanks Facebook. F you, Elle. I'm just gonna eat some tofu and I'm gonna be really happy about it. So, how do you say that some people don't have privilege when you basically just said that trans people aren't valid? They're not a thing. They're just girls pretending to be boys or boys pretending to be girls. Yeah. Mm, okay. Oh, someone's excited, okay. It's biological, but gender is a completely different thing. No, gender is not disconnected from sex, so. It's not completely disconnected, but it's still a cultural thing, it's still from society. It's okay, no, it is not in the mind, okay? You're not a man if you think you're a man. And I didn't say pretending, or if I did, I shouldn't have said pretending, let me amend. You said playing. Okay, I said a boy who thinks he's a girl. That's the usual phraseology I use. Not playing, I usually say a boy who thinks he's a girl or a girl who thinks he's a boy, which is technically what we're talking about here. As far as the actual psychological issues at play, it used to be called gender dysphoria or gender identity disorder, now they call it gender dysphoria. The idea that, that sex or gender are malleable is not true. Okay? And I'm not denying your humanity if you are a transgender person. I am saying that you are not the sex to which you claim to be. You're still a human being, and you're a human being with an issue that I'm, you know, I wish you Godspeed in, in dealing with in whatever way you see fit. But if you are going to dictate to me that I'm supposed to pretend, I'm supposed to pretend that men are women and women are men, no. My answer is no. I'm not going to, I'm not going to modify basic biology because it threatens your subjective sense of what you are. Okay, but you're still saying these kids should like not be accepted because they don't really fit in either place. They can't just like. I'm saying that the Boy Scouts have a standard. You must be a biological boy to be a Boy Scout. You have to be a boy to be a Boy Scout. Where's that written, though? In the name one? Boy Scouts. <laughs> because because it, because this is because this is a a very. Okay, for, because for all of human history, boy meant boy and girl meant girl. Boy did not mean girl. And girl. And if I call you a moose, are you suddenly a moose? Okay, if I redefine our terms. No, it's a, yes, that's right. Men and women are a completely different thing. This is true. Have you ever met a man or a woman? They're completely different. It's a completely different thing. You can't say you're a cat. It's not a thing. It's genders. It's not saying you're a cat. Okay, why, why is that? I, I don't understand. Why? Okay, let me ask you this. How, uh, okay, I won't ask you how old. I will ask you how old you are, okay? Because you're young enough that it's probably not insulting to ask you. So, I'm 22, so I'm probably only naive, right? No, why aren't you 60? Why aren't you 60? Because it... Why, why can't you identify as 60? Why, what, what is the problem with you identifying as 60? You're right. Age is significantly less important than gender. You can't magically change your gender. 
You can't magically change your sex. You can't magically change your age. You can still legally change it. People will recognize You can't legally change your age, by the way. <laughs> Obviously. You can change your name, you can change your sex, you can change your identity. Just because you can do things legally doesn't mean that they are correct biologically. You could do lots of things in the past that were incorrect biologically and correct legally. For a long period of time in the United States, sterilization of the mentally ill took place. That didn't make it okay. Skinner versus Oklahoma. Justice Oliver Wendell Holmes wrote the decision. Thanks for having tattoos. Uh, we have a man who knows all about that. Let's speak to the king of Inkland, King Body Art, the extreme inkite. Welcome yeah, to the show. Sure. Body Art's fine because body I'm covered art. in I'm covered in body art. That's how I see it. Now, yeah. well, Body Art, happy. welcome to the show. Well, we welcome the guy to the show. Yay! <laughs> 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 Because I haven't got one. Um, but I was 16 myself when I got my first yeah. tattoo. And Callum, it is a personal journey. Every tattoo is a personal choice for every individual. And Katie, you are extremely rude. We're the alternative in the mainstream society. You're, you're totally prejudiced towards tattooed people. Why? Because I'm a plain skin. No, that's what happens to us. People instantly make the judgment, that's though. because your like face you is coloured. The sort of colour of a first-class stamp, my chicken. The reason why I've done that, though, is because I want to be body art. My name is body art. I've been no, on this journey from, from the your age nine. what your mum called you. What no, did your no, mum call I've you? What did your mum call you? Bart is B, art. Capital B, capital yes, A for but art. Did your mum because call I'm being you art in my life. Oh, I changed my name what legally. What did your mum... Katie, you li you're not out. listening as per normal. I, I changed my name to I'm Body Art. I'm asking you a straight question. What's your name? You can't tell me your, your birth name. I've got lots name. of different tattoo work on my body, and it's just people like yourself, Katie, that just don't, you know, don't, want, don't like them, basically. I think she likes them. She's just trying to wind us up. I totally disagree with that. The only thing you can do to stand out in life is colour your whole face in. That just makes if, you a kid if, with a crayon book. If one of your children... He's an artist. You, if one of your children was to go off no to, to college at 18 and <gasps> came back for their holidays, <gasps> Looking Thanks, like body art. <laughs> they wouldn't be coming in my house. What would you do? Would you no. disown them? Yeah, they wouldn't be coming in my house. Okay, Especially not the if they same person up. underneath. That they're your child, you know, that no, you brought because up. No, if they, if they change choice. their name like you did, I'd feel yeah, very offended. Regardless of changing the name, it's the their name. lifestyle choice. I wouldn't it's let the them same. in my Trying to see their president, but apparently there's some protesters up here. Here's one of them. What's wrong with Donald Trump? He's a dick. Oh, come on. Fuck Donald Trump. Let's have a real conversation. What's wrong with Donald Trump? What's good about What's him? What's right with Donald Trump? Well, he's bringing Trump. jobs back to America. How? How? Well, he's already had multiple international no. companies. Where? They both made what statements. What about GM? What about Carrier? They both what about made, Ford? They both made statements saying Donald yeah, they Trump made statements. did not influence us. They right. made statements saying how they're investing money in the United States. That's right. the statement they made. Donald Trump didn't do that. Yeah, they did yeah, but what happens when cars are like 70 grand? Cars are already seventy grand. What no, are you talking about? No, I just paid twenty grand. I just paid eighteen. Okay, and you could find a car for seventy grand if What's you wanted Donald to. What's Donald Trump doing about my student debt? Yeah. As a public well, servant. Well, did Donald Trump nice sign the, the dotted line saying well, taking on that debt? Was that Trump? To be a public servant, I have to. You have to what? Go to school? Yep. You have to. Yeah. yeah to be okay. A well, you, yeah. nobody made you do that. You chose that life path. But yeah, I'm serving my country. Yeah, you chose education. You chose my country as a public servant. Yeah, so, but I'm servant. saying, but did you or did you not choose to take on a student loan? To serve my country. Okay, but who, as a public who made that choice? Uh, I did. So, to whose responsibility is it? To, just like, just <laughs> like Why the is military that funny? People. That's logic. So, wait, hold on. Here's the logic. When the military go overseas and fight and they die, that was their choice to die, right? Uh, yeah, they, they chose, they chose the greatest honor to give their life for freedom. I Absolutely. I chose the greatest honor to serve my nation as a public servant. Okay, but Lower good for you. Prices. And just <laughs> like going overseas could mean you might die, you taking on student debt means you're going to be in debt. That's called a sacrifice. Right, but it's... <laughs> <laughs> anything else? Hey, so are all you guys protesters here blocking people from getting in? No. You guys, you guys want to get in? Okay. It's the only way. Apparently they're not getting anyone in. So you guys aren't going to give Donald Trump a chance? No. So what happens, what happens if, if, if things in America get better, people quit rioting, police and civilians, no more protests? We've had economic growth for the past six years. I have a question. People always say, like, make America great again. When was it great, in your opinion? You know what? All I know is when I grew up as a kid, I didn't have to worry about going out on the streets and being robbed or being assaulted or having protesters well, assault me. Throw stink bombs at me. Throw eggs at me. Does that happen to Because I'm now? white. You don't even know anything about me. I'm you literally just you're see, white. you claim I'm white and that you assume all these things about me. That's racist. Do you realize you're a racist? It's not possible. How is it not possible? I can't be racist against white people. Well, Racism you, is literally you, the suppression you, of a minority Are you group. judging me because I'm white? Yeah. Why? <laughs> I don't like white males. Why? 
So that's not racist? That's the definition of racist. Is he yelling at me? This is hilarious. Thank you so much for this YouTube You're a goal. misogynist pig. How so? Because you're a white male. You don't know anything about me and my relationship with women, other races, my past, my upbringing. You didn't answer my question. You didn't answer my question. That's what they do. Here, here's what I want. Here's what I want. Here's what I want. I want. When was it great? Listen, listen. Why is it great? Listen, listen, when was listen. it great? Are you going to listen? Every, everything, everything that is made in this world comes from Asia, typically China. You know why that is? Because all the American companies ship their manufacturing over there. That's why companies are now building manufacturing in America and bringing jobs back. That's how it because works. So now every time, Obama. so now every time you pick up a product, it might not say nine, made in China. Nineteen minutes into the presidency. Exactly. So Donald Trump, Trump has been more, has done more. Wait, wait. I'm sorry. Were those people meeting with Trump or Obama? Obama. Not Trump. No, they were meeting with Trump. Oh. Literally pictured with Trump in Trump Tower. Okay, well, so, so does that answer your question? So yes, I did. Yes, I did. No Manufacturing. This this phone was made in China, probably. Foxconn. Foxconn said they're gonna bring manufacturing of iPhones to America. So how do you feel about that? So I just does that not answer your question? Manufacturing back in America, less regulations, less regulations on small business. So America will be great. You're saying when manufacturing is back? Here's the honest truth. America will be great when we the people are back in charge and not a corrupt government. That's why we elected Donald Trump, because he's not a career politician, okay? He hasn't had he's to make a stances. He's a terrible human being. Do you realize he's that Donald Trump is a very being. charitable he's man? Evil. He's a vile pig. How so? How so? How so? He's a racist. He's a misogynist. What has he done that's racist? What has he done that's racist? What has he done that's racist? Whether or not he's done anything, he said it, and words matter. What did he say? Words matter. Oh, he said a hell of a lot. I don't even need to What? If they said so much, you shouldn't have a problem. Yeah. Mexicans rapists. That was his no, opening wrong, statement. wrong. Oh, I'm pretty sure that was he Trump said illegal it. immigrants are coming here and raping citizens. That no, is a fact. He called Mexicans <laughs> rapists. You know what? I, mean, I, know what? Yeah. I was raped by a white man. Yeah. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Is that, like, is that why you hate? Is, is that funny? Are you serious right now? I've been raped by a white man. So is that why you hate white men? No, but I mean, I wasn't raped by an illegal immigrant. Yeah. Okay, but are I you saying I that that's... It was a white man in a college dorm. Like, I mean, you don't have to be an illegal immigrant to rape women. You guys are just brilliant. Okay, later today, we're having a protest. Uh, outside of the HCB uh, building near the free speech zone uh, to protest Milo Yiannopoulos, who is a racist, misogynist, who hates trans people. So we're basically there to say our university is saying that and putting out this lie that our university supports all people and that it is pro-equality when really they're bringing in these people to talk and speak that are totally against that and the antithesis of, um, like, togetherness. Right. Uh, what are some of the examples of things that, are things that you said that you have an issue with? Okay, so he's... Okay, specifically, a big, the biggest one that is easiest to point at is when he gathered all his uh, fans and supporters to harass Leslie Jones online, hacked Leslie Jones's Twitter to uh, release her nudes, and then like made it out to be like he was the victim of some sort of crime or something, when really he's been bullying online uh, Leslie Jones, who is a beautiful black woman who is uh, who was part of the Ghostbusters movie, and thus uh, all the nerd rage came up down upon her for being a woman who was black in a nerd film. But Milo concentrated that rage and was able to push it against her and really harmed the community. And um, do you think it, uh, it was the right decision, um, and if you could restate the question, that would help. Do you think it was the right decision for him to be banned from Twitter because of that? Um, I think it was a great decision to ban Milo Yiannopoulos from Twitter because he spreads hate and hate speech. Um, that's really not something I believe we should have in 2016, just pro being proliferated around the internet. Right. Exactly. Um, so what what's the goal of this protest? Like what do you what's the uh, ultimate what are you trying to achieve? Just just trying to show opposition or you got a specific goal, you want to tell them like what's the deal there? Our goal is to show the university that we're not okay with this type of speaker being brought in to speak and to hopefully prevent the university from bringing another type of speaker like this to come speak at our school.
Anything that uh, you think that's going through your mind is, is driving you to do this? Um, I have a general... Talk about law school, and I think it's interesting to know, because I think we're both feminists. I never considered myself a feminist. Uh, all during my professional career, whether it be a lawyer or a judge, I never belonged to a woman's organization. I didn't want to be... It wasn't, I wasn't a woman lawyer. I was a lawyer who happened to be a woman. And I wasn't a woman judge. I was a judge who happened to be a woman. I actually never felt, probably I was too stupid to know that I was held back at any time because of, uh, because of my gender. Uh, and I still don't. I still don't feel as if there was any time in my life when I thought that being a woman held me back. You define yourself. If you let other people define you, that's a mistake. So I never felt the need to have a feminine organization behind me, although I'm sure that in some way they were assistance to me along the way. I, I think it's funny, you know, I, I think of feminism as the social, political, and economic equality for men and women. So, you know, I wish, I wish people would embrace the term because I think it, it's gotten a bad rap. So, so it's interesting for me to hear you say, it, it's almost like you don't want to be associated with feminism. No, because I don't think a movement, actually, Katie, helped me. Being part of an organization never defined me. <laughs> why, do you, why do you need to come up and put your hand in the camera if you already have a mask covering your because face? I didn't consent to this, and my friends didn't consent to this. Okay, but you're getting up right in front of the camera, yeah. so... Yeah. Would you say you're being triggered right now? Just ask the questions. Maybe she has. Yeah, maybe you would actually know what I was trying to ask you if you listened I'm for a second. I'm totally yogurt right now, and you've got fucking expensive equipment. You better watch the fuck out. Well, what are you gonna do? Damage my equipment? I don't know. Maybe I'll I just eat this over yogurt. To campus police and report you. I've got cool. You on film. All right. This is getting, I'm starting to get dizzy here. I mean, we're walking in circles now. I mean, this is pretty intense. Circles? Okay, so can we just have dialogue? No. Why? I don't dialogue with fascists. We're not fascists. Yeah, you fucking work for Alex Jones. Have how you does, listened to him? How recently? does that make us He's fascist? He's anti government until Donald Trump gets Are you for free speech? I have a question. Shut up, shut up, I'm trying shut up, to. I'm shut trying up, to. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up shut I'm up, trying to up, actually up, have a decent up, conversation shut with up, you. I don't care. I don't care. I hate Alex Jones. Are you for free face. speech? Woo, Alex Jones is a fucking freak. I'm trying to actually have a reasonable conversation with you, ma'am. And this is all I want to know. Are you for free speech? Like, maybe... No platform for fascists! No platform for fascists! No platform for fascists! No platform for fascists! No platform okay. For fascists! Can you define fascism? What's fascism? What's the definition of fascism, ma'am? Do you know what fascism is? It's easy. What is it then? Can you tell the viewers of InfoWars what it is? Maybe you have a valid point. Maybe you should share your views so that the InfoWars listeners out there can understand you, understand where you're coming from. Nah. So you can't define fascism? Of course I can. And what is it? I'm not telling you. Because I know you're not interested in listening. You're just here to fuck with students. I wouldn't be asking if you I know, wasn't interested. I posted some propaganda up here last night. American Vanguard propaganda. They posted it on a statue of a black woman. All right? So that's what I'm here talking about today. You're here asking about Hillary fucking Clinton. I don't give a shit about Hillary Clinton. I'm here talking about fascist propaganda. You don't care about the things that are important here. You probably support those motherfuckers. Fuck you. I don't, I don't support care. propaganda, don't first of all. Propaganda. No, this I don't. Is this a no, we're just having a conversation. No, this isn't. Explain to this, us. Is this isn't. Oh my what god. Yeah, what happened? I, well, I Do you want to at least share the story about, about what happened? Yeah. You could break the story on InfoWars. We're interested in knowing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll break the story on InfoWars, and all your commie hating friends are going to comment. It'll be great. Cool. Have you ever been to a communist country? <laughs> Is there a communist country? You always like China? To that one. China's not fucking communist, it's state capitalist. So why do you think that America should be communist? Yeah, fuck yeah, America should be communist. Why? Yeah. What do you think it would fix?
six. Do you, would you throw away the Constitution as a whole, or, or what do you want? Just a completely different government? Do you like your constitutions written by slave owners? Do you know what the Constitution means? Do you know it gives you your right to voice your opinion right now? It's a very simple question, ma'am. In a communist country, would you have free speech? Yes. <laughs> no free speech for fascists. Yeah, free speech for us and no free speech for fascists. Would it be written down in a Constitution? If you want to do some party building with me, you're very welcome. Get rid of the fucking camera. The previous administration's order to admit transgendered individuals into the military. The president made the announcement on Twitter in the AM. He tweeted this, after consultation with my generals and military experts, be advised the U.S. government will not accept nor allow transgendered individuals to serve in the U.S. military. Our military must be focused on decisive and overwhelming victory and cannot be burdened with tremendous costs and medical disruption that transgender in the military would entail. Thank you. Democrats were not grateful for that. They quickly became very angry. Here's part of what they said. This disgusting ban will weaken our military and land that it defends. Our nation is not safer when we sanction discrimination. Because of President Trump's announcement, America will be less safe. The President of the United States this morning announced he is blowing 15,000 holes in our military readiness. It's undermining, I think, our national defense. This disgusting action endangers the lives of American service members and makes our country less safe. Congressman Sean Patrick Maloney represents New York in the House of Representatives, and he joins us tonight. Congressman, thanks a lot for coming on. But, so, I understand why people don't like this. But to not like it and to claim that it makes our country less safe are, are two different things. How does this make our country less safe? Well, how about SEAL Team 6? Okay. Um, I think you'd agree they make our country more safe. So Kristen Beck, member of SEAL Team 6, uh, she's a transgender woman. Uh, seven combat tours, uh, earned the Bronze Star with Valor and right. a Purple Heart. Um, she's done a hell of a lot more for our country than you and I ever will. And uh, she made our country safer. That's the person we're going to remove from military service. I, I don't think she served as a transgender SEAL, though. Uh, no, but there are thousands of transgender uh, service members serving honorably and meeting the tests, uh, that the high tests that the military expects of uh, its service members. We should absolutely use the standard the president started with, which is keeping our country safe. And part of keeping but, our country safe is keeping good people in the military. These are good people. Right. Well, transgenders have never been allowed to serve openly and to have their transitions paid for by the U.S. government. This is something that began in a, in a gradual way with the Obama administration. This country's been around for almost 250 years, winning a bunch of wars. That's not a slight on any specific person. It's, I'm merely skeptical at why this makes our country less safe. I don't actually think that you can show that. I think you're just mad about it and you're using our national security to make your point. Well, look, there are thousands of people serving honorably. Um, we won a bunch of wars before we integrated the armed services with African Americans. And we won a bunch of wars without women serving. But we have an enormous number of talented, diverse people serving. We wouldn't, we wouldn't believe we were more safe because we excluded whole groups of Americans. And look, the point is, is that right now, thousands of uh, transgender uh, service members are serving with distinction. And there's not a reason on earth that you would kick them out of the military except for prejudice, and that's well, wrong. Well, that's just, you know, that's just, that's just a silly thing to say. I mean, this is a legitimate debate, and for you to say anyone who dis doesn't agree with you is a bigot. I mean, there's a massive well, call. Wait, hold on, slow down. Well, I didn't say that, yes, but you I, did. I said, you said that the you reason said, would yes, be you did. You said prejudice. the only reason what is I prejudice. Right. In other words, if you disagree with me, being a holy man, that you're a bad person. And my only point is there are two sides to this. There's a cost to this. There are difficulties integrating people. There are questions about what it means to be transgender. These are real adult questions, and you're blowing them off by describing anyone who doesn't agree with you as motivated by prejudice, and that's what childish. Was, what is the reason for taking members of the military who are serving now, thousands of them, right. with distinction, without a problem, and kicking them out over on this basis, what would that reason be? Well, I mean, the reason is articulated by the people who oppose this is that it's expensive to pay for the physical transition, the medical transition, um, from one sex to the other. And, and, that, that, and that paying that at a time when the military is scrambling for funds is a 
distraction from the core mission, which is winning wars. Right. Well, we so just, like the we onus just, is on you, since the U.S. military has never had this policy in its history, to show that paying for sex change operations is going to somehow make us more likely to beat, I don't know, Al Qaeda. No, excuse me. We have that policy now, and we've had a, a, more than a year to see how it works. And there hasn't been any diminishment of readiness or any disruption of any kind. And what we know is men like Shane Ortega, uh, another transgender service member, who, who, who conducted hundreds of missions in Afghanistan and Iraq, multiple combat tours. As a transgender a person. A, 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 no, that's not true. Yes, as a matter of fact. And, and, and there are right now people like Riley Dosh, a cadet, who just graduated from the okay, military I'm academy. Sorry, West what you're Point. engaging in is demagoguery. I'm asking you uh, bigger, broader questions, which is: Is it an actual concern that the Pentagon would have to pay for sex change operations? Do you think that's a valid military expense? Well, would you do you say, think these are real questions about how to integrate people in close quarters living who haven't fully transitioned? To blow those off as like bigotry is just wrong. Well, I think if, if to be fair, we've spent years studying this. Rand Commission did a big report on this. We haven't spent and years it was after studying the, this. Well, actually, the Obama administration did exactly that. This and is Rand, brand new. The Rand, Corporation, the Rand Corporation study looked at this in detail before they changed the policy. We now have a year of experience. And by the way, under your argument, you could also say, you know, women may get pregnant and they may incur additional medical costs. So we shouldn't allow women to serve no, in the military. But I would say, I think hold what on, we would so, say first of all, I'm not that arguing that. I'm arguing something very specific. So don't liken it to another argument. Second, the, any question that bears on military readiness is a direct question. I'm a patriotic person. I would love to serve the country. I'm too old. It takes me 27 minutes to run 5K. I'm not qualified. So the question is not what's empowering for me, it's what's good for the national defense. And that's not the lens through which you're looking at But this. Kristen Beck is qualified and performed heroically on SEAL Team 6. Look, I'm not attacking and, Kristen and, Beck. I'm really saying no, Kristen Beck was not... Excuse me, you are I, directly attacking I love attacking You know what, I, I think well, it's very frustrating speaking with ideologues me. like you Excuse because me. everything you disagree with is an attack on someone. Tucker, you are... And you I am are, not attacking you Kristen Beck. You are defending Beck. a policy that would remove a, a decorated member of SEAL Team you know 6 from the are, United States military. Are, if that's not an attack, sir, I don't know what is. You are an and, extremist posing as a rational person. Well, it, I'm trying to have a rational debate, and you're telling me I'm attacking a Navy SEAL, which I'm emphatically not doing. Well, and you should be ashamed for using such a low tactic in what I'm trying to make a rational conversation. It is a fact that, that I'm a attacking woman named a Kristen SEAL. Beck would right. not be allowed to Who have did performed not serve her service as a transgender which person also means in that combat. The taxpayers so actually, incurred no health care costs associated with that, which is also a fact that is at play here. The fact that this the is why we can't solve that, problems, because people who why? vote, yes it is, because what you're doing is spewing because propaganda kick, and saying, no, kick. because I'm asking honest questions and you're throwing back dumb propaganda in my face and calling me a bigot. I think you have to own the implications, own of, the what implications. The, of the position right. you support, and it would mean that people who are serving with distinction are being separated from the military for an arbitrary reason. This is why... And it's wrong. Okay, I'll tell you why. This is why the Pentagon didn't announce it themselves today. Because this policy has very limited support in the Pentagon, but they're afraid, because of demagogues like you, That's a very that they're point, going to be attacked for saying what is obvious, which is, the point of the military is to win wars. And saying that Agreed. will get people like you Agreed. to call them bigots. That's so they standard. don't want to say it. That's my standard. Right. We You're want a military that's going to win wars, and, and the people who are serving with distinction are part of that. And by the way, All right. they're earning those benefits that, that, we're, that we're providing to them. Right. Okay. They're earning it by putting their I'm lives a, I'm, in the I'm a, I'm a, And they're doing right. more than you and I ever will to protect our country. And before we go okay. after Stop them, Stop your demagoguery. I've, I've, I've I, had enough. 